This is Miami All Access. Uh, Coach, again, you uh, you guys came out last night and didn't have the result you wanted, and tonight turned it around, especially in that third period. I mean, that's a big 180. Well, I thought we played well uh, for the most part of tonight. Uh, a couple of power play goals they scored, um, you know, good plays by them. Um, I just thought we were playing with a lot more intensity and a lot more determination tonight. And, you know, I think uh, I think in the end uh, we were able to solve them. It took, obviously, overtime, too. Their goaltender played great, and their team's a great team. And, um, they play hard, and, and they've got so many weapons, and so you have to be on your toes pretty much the entire game. And uh, I thought it was a good hockey game. We battled back. I'm really proud of the way our team uh, hung in there. Um, it could have been, you know, the guys could have quit after 3-1, but they kept coming, and, and they did a nice job. Uh, it seemed like you guys were winning more battles in the corners, finding more shots on goal than uh, last night. Another defense are doing a great job of blocking those shooting lanes. Uh, is that something you guys explicitly wanted to do coming out there, finding that net more often? I, I think, Joe, it's part of our game plan every night is to make sure that we have good puck management, that we're winning battles. That's the name of the game. You've got to execute uh, those plays every night, regardless of who you're playing. Uh, I thought our guys did a nice job of, of winning those battles tonight for the most part and uh, you know, taking it to the net. Uh, there's still a lot of rebounds that, that those guys, you know, obviously did a good job in front of their goaltender and clearing those rebounds. But um, you know, we, we hung in there and uh, you know, we got a lucky bounce there in overtime. Uh, I know that you guys uh, entering the weekend were tied for first, that three-way tie in the conference and uh, getting swept here would have meant uh, possibly a fourth place uh, standing. I mean, how big is this getting these points in a, in a series splitting like this moving well, forward? Yeah, like I said earlier in the week, uh, we've got to take every game and just focus on one game at a time. You don't worry about what other teams are doing and uh, what the standings are. That's uh, That would be a recipe for uh, disaster. Um, you know, so right now we're going to focus on Denver on Friday, and and then we'll go from there. But uh, you know, we just got to control what we can what we can do, and that's go out and play hard, execute, win battles, and and see what happens. Uh, with Riley Barber being scratched, do you think that was sort of a wake up call to the rest of the team? Hey, you know, everyone needs to call to arms and start producing and come out with a four to three win. I think uh, was that sort of message you were trying to send? Just you know, everyone wake up. It's it's that time of year. Well, I'm I'm not sure I was trying to send any type of message. Um, we, we know what we have in our locker room. We're, uh, we know how we do things and the standard that we set, and we just got to hold each other accountable to that standard. All right, how about that? Uh, turning it around after last night, you guys obviously didn't have the performance you wanted, and uh, you stepping up with, with that first strike and then uh, assisting it, causing that turnover in the neutral zone. I mean, you got to be happy with the 180 the team took, especially yourself as well. Oh, yeah. Uh, last night was a rough one. We didn't play our best, but uh, tonight we came back strong. We played unbelievable from the start of the game. First drive of the puck, and uh, we came out flying throughout the whole game. Bounces were coming our way, so as well. Uh, I know that you guys clearly won that shot count, 49 shots when all was said and done, uh, nearing that half century mark. Uh, is that what it finally took to beat uh, Kaskasui uh, or Suo? Just a uh, <laughs> large quantity of shots uh, and having someone find the back of the net? Yeah, he's a great goalie. Uh, I mean, you got to keep him honest, get everything you can at him. Uh, Literally everything, throw it at his feet, hands, keep him, keep him thinking about himself, like make him make saves. You can't just look for the pretty plays all the time. You got to make him make a save and go to the net hard. Walk me through that last goal. Uh, you knock it down in the neutral zone and get a, I think it was a chest on it, knock it down a failed clearing attempt uh, by the Bulldogs. You walk it in and it looked like you, you thought about shooting it first and then waited for what seemed like an eternity for that passing lane to yeah. open up. <laughs> Finally put it through Walensky's uh, legs. I mean, you, you got to feel good knowing that puck got through to Coleman. Oh uh, yeah, it was great. Uh, we actually called the play on the bench. Louis told me he was going to throw it hard off the glass and I was like, all right, I'll, I'll get the puck no matter if it's, I had to beat the icing or going through the guy and it worked out well, hit him in the chest. Uh, just got to stick on it, put it through him and had to sell the puck down a little bit, but got it to Coles. It was like a mirror of the last night's game and we scored that. So. Uh, points are at a premium, obviously at this point in the season, everyone's racing for that postseason, uh, jockeying for position and uh, this goes a long way for uh, trying to get home ice for oh, yeah. the postseason. Uh, is that something you guys are focusing on as a team saying we, we need to finish out strong and get that home ice advantage in that first round? Yeah, definitely. It's gonna. I mean, it's gonna come down to the end. It's gonna be tight. Uh, we got 
two hard weekends coming up in Denver, and we got Nodek at home again. We're going to have to come out, play our best hockey. Uh, it's going to be hard for everyone. I mean, everyone's fighting for a spot, so everyone's going to give their best every game. Yeah, I mean, it was a lot of adversity for our team all game, and we weren't getting the calls, and um, we just kind of stuck to the plan and kept working and trying to wear them down, and uh, tonight we got the bounces. Uh, I know Cascio just uh, was otherworldly in that for the other team. It seemed like every time you guys had a quality scoring chance, get down goal line extended and wrap it around, yeah, we're all holding our breaths in the broadcast booth, and just he finds a way to make that save. It had to feel good solving that riddle a little bit here tonight. Yeah, I mean, hats off to him. He's an incredible goalie, and um, he was really tough to solve, but I think you, you get enough pucks on any goalie, something's going to squeak through, so... <laughs> uh, we'll take it. Uh, that last goal, uh, we just had Louie in here talking about how he was, he was waiting for that pass to open up and said you guys uh, drew that up on the on the bench, him forcing that uh, high glass and you know, said they were going to go out trying to break it out that way and it opened up for you guys. I mean, were you, were you sitting there back door just hoping you get the, uh, <laughs> get that pass through? Yeah, I mean, we got a fortunate bounce on the clear and went through the D's legs, I think, and um, my eyes just kind of lit up when I saw Louie had the puck and <laughs> Uh, I just tried to give him a target, and I didn't see it till it hit my stick, but uh, it was a pretty exciting one.